So, I do um, daily update videos that you don't watch. Or you, maybe I don't you know do how watch. To subscribe. You don't have to subscribe, you can just watch. <sighs> and I didn't do a daily update video yesterday. Mm -hmm. So I'm doing one right now. So I didn't tell my mom I was doing a video with her. I just started doing a video. <laughs> and she gets weird in front of cameras, so she just starts to giggle and doesn't know what to say. <laughs> but we need a topic to talk about. What, what topic? <clears throat> well, oh, I have a good question. I'll come um, the store. This is, uh, no, 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 it, I, I like to talk about life, I don't like to talk about... So we have a camp tomorrow. My mom's going to work the store. She wants to talk about that. But we're not going to talk about that. We're going to talk about raising kids. It's an exciting topic, right? So, without diving too deep into my childhood um, and all that nonsense, right? <laughs> Let's not make it a weird video and get too... Uh, we'll just, we'll take it easy. And, um, I guess we can, I guess I'll ask you a question. Like, why did you have me involved in so much stuff? Like, you guys don't know this, but growing up, I played every single sport. And there were sports that I hated. Like, I hated baseball, and she made me play baseball anyway. Um, I wasn't the biggest fan of soccer. I was really good at it, but I, I, I wasn't wild about soccer. You would have been she, like, you could have. Could have been the best soccer player in the world, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. But I didn't really like soccer. Um, oh, you were so good. I was good. Uh, I ran track. And you uh, were the best at that? I was the best. <laughs> um, 215 pounds. My mile time was 430. High jump 63. Blah, blah, blah. Played basketball. But anyway, she had me involved in everything, including Boy Scouts, everything. And then on top of that. And band. And band, I played the saxophone. And church group. You, she had me going to church group all through high school. Jeez, what else did you have me doing? You never rested. Never rested. And then when I when I was at home, I was sewing. I was sewing, and I was uh. Jeez, I was drawing all my furniture. And building fires and jumping. Building fires and jumping BMX bikes through them. And swinging on the rope swing. Swing. I used to build uh, tree forts and rope swings and all that nonsense. And having your friends over. Yep. But I guess the moral of the story is somehow she got me nonstop doing everything. I made a mistake and I never let you have a rest. See, so she sees that as a mistake. Mm -hmm. What do you mean a mistake? Well, I just, I ne just never taught you how to have downtime. Well, and then we were camping and hiking and... So that's another thing. Um, every single weekend, I don't know how she did it, but, you know, we always played a sport on the weekend, and then we would always be in some kind of park, or we'd be camping, or just... We were all over the place. There was never a free weekend. And we had a, uh, we had a hunting camp up in Berwick, Pennsylvania, that we were always at. Were you thinking this mistake? <clears throat> well, Drew re refused to do everything all the sports and everything. So he had more like down, quiet, calm time, so. Yeah, but Drew, so for you guys that don't know my brother, my brother's my business manager now. He's very attractive, he's 6'4", he's, he's 250. Um, he's had abs like forever. He uh, he sort of, he's one of those dudes that coasted through life. Coasted, like coasted through school. He didn't work while he was in school. Right. How the fuck did that happen? I started working at 15. I worked full time. Like, I was working like 30 hours a week at 15 somehow. And taking care of me. And taking care of you, because various reasons. But, uh, yeah, even through college. I, I worked through college. I paid for everything. And took care of Drew. Yeah, and Drew lived with me. But Drew sort of floated through things. That's probably because you taught him how to have downtime. But now... Drew in the future, fast forward, I hired Drew a, a year ago, and I turned Drew into a monster. He is now a smaller version of me, and he just, he sleeps in the warehouse too, <laughs> so it's like brothers sleeping in offices. But you think that was a mistake? Well, 
<clears throat> yeah, I wish you would learn how to like. Why? I don't know. Do I just worry that you, you realize, work too hard. But you realize because I work so hard, I'm able like, like for example, you could look at Dan and I's relationship right now and say, "Oh my God, you're so stressed," and you know, you guys, you guys don't have any time. No, but when anything. I came, I feel like you're ha happy. I feel like Dana's happy, happy and I feel you. like yeah. you're happy. Yeah, but think about good. it. Think how many different countries we were in this year. Mm -hmm. Think how we travel everywhere. We experience like mm -hmm. different kinds of food. We, you know, she's on stage and, she, you know, we're accomplishing all these goals and everything. Mm -hmm. Or we could be taking downtime like you would have taught me. <laughs> Losers take downtime. <laughs> Hippies who listen to Bob Marley and sit on the beach all day. My mom lives at the beach now, so she knows all about downtime. That's not true. She's but I still work full time. She still works full time. Night shift. Night shift. Mm -hmm. But we're moving her to part time because I'm sick of seeing her work full time. Throwing her on some payroll. Starting pay on Sunday. Throwing her on some payroll. Part time. She's going to be a. Uh, what am I calling you for tax reasons? An independent contractor or something? <laughs> <laughs> this is my independent contractor working remotely from North Carolina on the beach. Speaking of North Carolina, she's freezing all the time. It's really cold in Pennsylvania. Yeah, and I refuse to turn on the heat because weak people don't work here. <laughs> anyway, this is my mom. How long have you been a nurse for? Since 1977. 1977. So my mom really got me into a lot of the fashion and artsy things. She always sort of encouraged me to do to do things. And she would sleep during the day. And my brother had all these friends. Remember Drew had friends? So you had a lot of friends. I, I, I know, but like on the weekends or whatever, I remember Drew like wasn't there. And it was me by myself. So you taught me how to, uh, you taught me like needlepoint. Mm -hmm. You're very good at that. You taught me how to use the sewing machine, everything like that. Mm -hmm. So, you know, she got, she got me into sewing. I wanted to be a fashion major. Like, I made my tux for senior prom. It was a white zoot suit with, like, black hot rod flames. But uh, I wanted to be a fashion major, but you and said And your there, football coaches would make fun of you because you would make dresses yeah, and purses. Everyone would make fun of me. <laughs> um, You're who's like me. You who's laughing now? <laughs> They're fuckers. <laughs> um, no, but, yeah, I used to win. I won a couple fashion shows and things like that, but there was no future in it. That was like the one time you guys, they, like, nurtured me my whole entire life. Like, do whatever you want. And then when it came to going to college, it was like, nah, art school and fashion design? Mm. No, let's get a real job. <laughs> and you can do that on this. Yeah, you I can do that on the side. So, that was the one time, but they, they laid the groundwork for everything. And then everything, they fought me on everything. Like, they didn't, they didn't let me have a mohawk. They didn't let me dye my hair. I did anyway, but we fought like cats and dogs about it, which I love. Like, at the time, I hated you. I was, I was so mad at you guys. Like, let me have, however I want to have my hair, I should be able to have it. But I had friends who, if they're watching this video, I hope they're not upset, but who had mohawks and dyed their hair, and their parents didn't give a fuck. And their parents would let them have their hair however they wanted. And now those people are fucking completely failing at life. Well, not failing. I, my definition of failing at life is a lot different than a lot of people's. But, um... Yeah, I guess they're not failing at life. I'm, I'm very harsh on people. If you're not kicking ass, for some reason I think you suck. I know. High standards. I teach you to be kind. She told me to be very kind. You are. I am. I'm a very kind person. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're having our three o'clock coffee. I taught him that too. She taught me how to drink coffee. What a great move by you. <laughs> she got me addicted to supplements early. Um, anyway, that's it. Say goodbye to the internet. Bye. Thanks, Mom.